Welcome back, guys, to Mary's Web, and today we will be playing Bloom Tower Defense 6. Right now, I'm filming my voice on my phone, my dad's phone, actually. And I'm going to be playing from my iPad here. We're going to be playing the map, the expert map, Dark Castle, on easy standard with me, my mom, and my dad. Alright. Just checking if it's filming. It is. So, all right. So, guys, right now, I'm put this to my left. I will be putting down Sada here. Here and right now, my mom and dad are gonna place their unit. My dad plays Gwendolyn above Sada. Mommy, are you gonna play something? She just likes to keep quiet. Oh, she plays another Sada right there. Now, I'm just going to. I'm not playing with anything else. All of us have barely anything left. We're going to play. And just look. Our two Sadas just gonna handle everything. Daddy, would you speed her up? Can you speed her up? Yeah, okay. Oh, mommy, it, it just sped up. It just okay. Just checking with speeding up here. Oh, so someone uh, who's player two? Player two is my dad. He pushed the glue gunner. He, Cause when you upgrade the monkey knowledge, uh, the dark monkey and the glue gunner are free. My dad's adjusting the camera a little. And uh, my mom plays the boomerang monkey down. My mom also plays the A3 dart monkey. And right now I'm working on lead popping power. I'm going to place a sniper on top. And now I'm saving up for full metal jacket, which is going to allow us to pop lead balloons. I'm going to say I'm just strong so that it doesn't interfere with anything. We can cut down the trees, but we love nature, so we're not going to. And right about now, we have full metal jacket. So this will also allow us to pop lead balloons on round 28 and round 30. And now... So I can deal with camo balloons, so we have every single type of balloon covered. Now all we really have to worry about is around 40 Moab. So by the way, the normal Sada is uh, me. The Viking Sada is uh, my mom. And Gwendolyn is my dad here. I'm going to go bottom path. Faster firing. Here. Oh, and my dad straight up put down a dartling gunner. This is glow that can attack anywhere and it's very useful on straight path like that. I'm getting faster firing. And now he attacks faster, of course. Here. And now is the boring part. We wait. About round 16 here. Everything is covered. I have lead covered, we have camo covered. I'm gonna place down a submarine. And I'm gonna try to get it to a 200. Cause right now my sniper is done. I'm trying to get it onto a 200 for my sub. Scratch that, we need to uh, make this a zero zero now, we already have a one zero zero. Here. The glue gunner. Not pulling its weight. So, I'm getting advanced intel. So it's pretty much global now. And I'm going to get twin guns so it can shoot twice as fast. Actually not shooting twice as fast, but like 
has two turrets to shoot, so. And these are seeking missiles, so. There you go, twin guns. I'm gonna try to now sail for air burst starts. And. The only thing we're gonna be worried about now is. Moab. The mod that comes on round 40. Uh, the final round, at least for easy difficulty. The medium difficulty you have to go around 60, and the hard difficulty you have to go to around 80. And if you're playing hard on like impossible or chimps, you have to go around 100. The bosses for those are going to be trying from uh, easy to hard to chimps. Be like easy is 40, which is the Moab. Uh, medium is the BFB, which is 60. Uh, hard is the zone G, which is 80. And impossible and chimps have a uh, BAD. DDTs also come on round 90. And right now I'm getting air burst starts. I'm trying to get triple guns. We're gonna handle these rounds easily with our three heroes and a couple miscellaneous towers. I'm getting triple guns. And things are gonna be handled quite nicely. We're here around 37. Maybe, yeah, I'll get even faster firing so it fires even faster. I'll get down my free glue gunner uh, 38 rounds in. I don't know why I just did. I didn't do that at the beginning. Here, round 39. Daddy, do you think we'll be able to beat a Moab? He's just tired. I can. So, can you give me 200? Uh, oh, oh. Okay. We won anyways, even though we leaked some lives. Let's see. I had 5,000 pops. My dad had 2,000 pops. And... My mom had 3,000 pops. I placed four towers and my dad placed three. My mom still placed three. I popped one Moab. Of course, I'm the one that popped it. I don't know why that didn't count. And my dad used two abilities. So there we go. And that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye!